Hi everyone! So in this video I'm going to check out the MEW4 M162 which is a buggy which also has an extra set of tires and it's brushless and it shares a lot of parts with the Hypergos and seems to be very durable. I will check it out and the cool thing is the price. It's really insane. And here it is. And I've got to say it looks a lot like the MJX Hypergo 16207 even though it's the MEW4 M162. The box is promising that I will get a cool shell and a lithium ion in a hard case. Looking at the promises on the box and checking again for the price, it was 70 euros and I get all of that for 75 euros and it's insane. I, I don't know how they do it. The box itself looks very promising, but let's have a look inside. Aha! And here's the manual, please read it. No extra plastic straps? That's nice. We'll have a more detailed look at the car later. This is the Hypergo remote or it was also in the truck version that I tested. I like it, it fits well in my hand, steering trim and you have a light switch. It's very well designed for one handed steering. I like that it only needs two AA batteries. A small metal wrenching tool, a Phillips screwdriver and a charger, plus the spoiler which I will attach later on, and the extra set of tires, which are exactly the same ones that come with the MJX Hypergo 16207 and they're a little bit bigger than the ones that are already fitted. I'm assuming that the smaller ones are supposed to be for on-road racing while the bigger ones are for off-road. Now let's test those shocks. And it looks absolutely awesome. I cannot believe that this is only 75 euros. And looking at it, there are so many similarities with the 16207 that I'd love to make a comparison video about it. And that's how it looks inside. So we have this Dean's connector, there's the lithium ion battery in the hard case. And we have CVDs, metal. Actually, the whole drivetrain is metal. There are the shocks in the front and back, oil field, of course. Oh yeah, the tires are adjustable. The electronics in this one compared to the Hypergo versions are a little bit different. For example, the Hypergos come with a fan, which this one does not, but you can easily fit one in. Let's open up this Velcro and have a look at the battery. It's a 1500 milliamp hours lithium ion 2S battery, which is pretty okay for the price. And since it's all made of metal inside, we hear a clickety clacking when it moves. And if you're wondering where you can get the parts, you can get the one from MJX Hypergo. Radio on. Car on, and let's go. Hmm. The small tires aren't really made for off-road, but I will try them anyway and swap them out later.
And now the off-road tires. All in all, I gotta say, this is a great little buggy and I'm getting a lot for my 70 to 80 euros. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like and see you soon.